Hey guys, down to the brick here. I'm here for my first ever room tour. So we're gonna start off over here and this is my really cool Millennium Falcon here. And it just opens up um, by flipping all the panels. Um, and this is a really cool set. It's the biggest one I have. Um, so that's pretty cool. It just opens all the way up. And then we go down from here. So as we make our way down, I just have a bunch of bins that have pieces or sets inside. Um, this is mostly where I build all my sets with all these pieces. Just miscellaneous and random broken down sets. This is more like my Hero Factory, um, Bionicle type of bin here. I'm just random like notebooks and stuff in here. Um, this bin, I just have a bunch of miscellaneous again, and, um, there's a bunch of fake Lego in here. That's where I keep that when I come along. I never use fake Lego, so I just throw it in that bin. Then down here, we have the Lego Creator 3-in-1, uh, plane set, and this is a really cool set. And then we have this little pod here, um, that when you open it, then... It has a zine inside, and it's just a little exclusive poly bag. I'll put it up here with this plane. And if you sl slide the um, back wheel back and forth, then it makes the propeller move. And you can also see inside to the engine or the gears. Now, um, moving on from the plane, I just have a bunch of, uh, random Lego bins here with, um, let's see if I can try to open it. I, it's more just, like, random pieces and, like, I don't know, random builds that I made. And this one, I think it has, like, a, yeah, a little trailer here, Toy Story set, I don't know. It's a bunch of random storage stuff that just got put in these bins. And... Yeah, now there's this pink thing, which has a lot of minifigures inside that I completely forgot about that I should probably put in my Lego City because there's a lot of cool minifigures, like there's some trolls, there's a couple, there's a lot of cool minifigures in here. Yeah. And then over here, there's just more little sets here, I guess. Um, just a couple sets, like there's a bigger one, like the suitcase here from Fantastic Beasts. This is a really cool set. Um, and then in here, we just have instructions and a couple of random builds. Moving on, we have the Y-Wing over here. It's a really nice set. This one was the Rogue One version. And we got the Resistance Troop Transporter. <clears throat> I did take those fins for my um, Fireball mock over here, but yeah. Just opens like this, which is pretty cool, and you can put a bunch of minifigures inside. And the Y Wing, it doesn't open up, but it has like a cool bomb dropping mechanism um, where you just spin the back and the bombs come out. Um, and next over here, we have uh, this movable Lego table here, and you can just move this out basically wherever you want. and I just use this um, for like building on it or mocks or whatever. And underneath, I just have a couple boxes. And these are the boxes I put my camera on to film. Um, because they're the best size and shape, like Speed Champions. And just a couple of these sets that are really good for filming. And then here's my Fireball mock right here. And my Endor ones over here. So yeah. Here I have a piece sorter. Not a hundred percent done at all. Um, it's just a random, basically random pieces, heads, body, pants, accessories. Like, I guess there's a couple sorted-ish stuff. I don't know. It's not really sorted, like really good, but it's like it's a bit helpful, I guess. Then down here we got a white sheet. And my other white sheet is um, right here. And this is where I do my filming, just on my closet door here. And then I um, sprawl it out 
and I have this nice side lamp, whoops, side lamp here that I shine down and get some more light. And up here we just have a bunch of miscellaneous in this drawer, like Lego sets, um, like a helicopter and stuff. And down here just a bunch of random Lego sets, some mini figure of the day stuff. In the middle here we got um, just Lego Star Wars instructions. These are just instructions for my Lego Star Wars sets here and then underneath is bigger ones. So yeah, um, my actual like Lego set instructions are in my closet, but these are just Lego Star Wars. Um, here I got a bunch of more random parts, little minifigures, um, other stuff. Here I got a bunch of some remains of my old Arc 170 little and just a bunch of random pieces. Here. And then here I just got a bunch of like um, Star Wars minifigure like pieces or full minifigures or like parts of minifigures. And then below I just got just a bunch of random parts. So yeah, that's this. We're gonna do the ATAT. So I just got this set and I just finished building it. It's really big, really cool. I think I like the pose the best. I have a light shining down on it. Um, I just have Luke Skywalker hanging and I had a Tauntaun so I put it there. Um, I painted this. Um, this is the logo of one of my favorite video games. Um, and then I have this Lego poster. And then up here I got a couple Lego Atlantis sets and then a Lego Ninjago set. And then, um, Lego Ninjago exclusive minifigures. And up here, I have more sets in here. Um, uh, a couple more sets in here. More sets in here. <laughs> uh, some pieces. Lots more pieces. And then just a broken set here. So, yeah, that's this shelving, I would say. Um, now we'll move on to my city. Um, this is pretty epic, I built this all, and then there's just a brief overview of my city. This, um, this roof here, basically, um, for my end or mock over here, um, I had to use, like, a bunch of these leaf pieces and stuff that used to be the roof, but I just didn't have time to build a different roof, so I just put these yellow pieces on. It's my lighthouse here. And yeah, it's a pretty cool city. So that is this side of the so room. So here, this is where I keep most of my clothes. I have a, um, it's a clock here, a little hand solo, Funko Pop, the Disney castles on my dresser, and this cool, like, ex like Mario flag back here. And then this is my filming wall. I got this big, this big head here. And inside I have like, oh wow, I didn't even think I had anything in here. And then in here I just have a bunch of random minifigures that I didn't even know I had. <laughs> and then a couple like little sets like this. Um, so yeah, that's in here. And then I have a small bookshelf here with a bunch of comic books here. Um, I like comic books. Bunch of like Star Wars ones. Like, here we go. There's a bunch of them there. And there's bigger Star Wars ones and stuff. And I have like a big Rebels comic book. And then there's like Garfield random ones. Uh, a couple of Sonic comic books in here. That's about that. And then down here just, just a bunch of random books. Um, there's a painting I did from the exact same game. Um, I did the other painting. This is the thing I used to showcase the minifigures. I spin it around. There's a fake trophy um, from like, what was that, like 2015 when I was doing T-Ball, like a long time ago. Um, there's a car model frog bobblehead that I got from my um, Oma. And then my Star Wars figures are just on this side. I got this selfie stick for recording and stuff. And then my Bluetooth headphones. I go over here, this is just a wall, a wall like hanger here, but I used to put the rattlecopter on because it actually fit perfectly, so instead of hanging it from the ceiling, I did this. Let me move over here, um, 
I have a cool shelf here with a bunch of micro fighters here. A bunch of clones um, up here. Droids. Basically just a bunch of droids. And then there's my sig fig and there's the brick collector's YT sig fig. I made him. Um, yeah. And then up here we just have a bunch more Star Wars minifigures back here. And over here too. And here's my China mock that I made. Um, China Lego architecture style mock. And it's pretty cool. And up here we have two more bigger sets. With Krennix's uh, shuttle here. And just like... Um, I forget what their name, like an A-T-T-E, A-T-D-P, I'm sorry, I don't quite remember the name of this one. But it was the one from, what was it, The Last Jedi, was it? No, um, probably was. From the movie where basically the top got blown off and I got that set from a friend. And then I just built on a top because it looks really weird without the top. <laughs> and then here are my mainly main Star Wars sets here. It's got a bunch of smaller ones here. It's my custom minifigure that I made. Um, go down. It's a bunch of speeders. Cannons here. Ships. Speeders. And then just a bunch more um, ships and speeders and stuff. So that's the main bulk of my Star Wars collection here. And there's my lovely bed here gonna get on it for a second um there's like a lego star wars poster a clone wars poster here we go here there's my uh star wars minifigure board here i got lots more star wars minifigures and then three of my mechs and one of my slave one microfighter mock so that is that wall let me try to get a zoomed out thing of it so that's that wall and um, that is about it here. I'm just going to quickly do a 360 shot. Oh, forgot to show this one right here. I got another poster here. And um, yeah, I got this cool Star Wars poster that I made. Um, so that's neat. So yeah, that's my room. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, see you in the next one.